Hi Stuart, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to work, show you what we worked on today. So really impressed you've had no lessons and uh, with the swing you came or turned up with. So here really good, takeaway and set is good here. You can see the shaft cuts through your right forearm. Gonna compare you here to uh, Hunter Mahan, as we can see here. And we're gonna run through his swing as well. So we can see as you're swinging it back, or he's swinging it back, sorry, we can see there the shaft cuts through his right forearm as well. So you're in very similar position, opposed to the angle of the shaft is a little bit steeper, opposed from that. Now from you, for me, your arms just tend to go up. So we can see your arms sort of travel up. So to me, your core's not really working, not really sort of turning that behind the ball. So to me, it's all a bit of a pickup. And that's one of the reasons why your club always over swings or you swing it too long. We can see here, the uh, the shaft is a um, lot longer. So if we look at Hunter here, he's from this position here, he's just going to keep turning his back. But he can keep turning his chest around his body. We can see that left arm goes a lot lower and flatter. So we can see there his left arm and club forms one nice straight line. If we draw a line on the butt of the club. We can see he's almost behind his body where yours is almost in front of your middle of your shoes line. So for you, once you get it halfway back, Stuart, just from there, just feel like you turn behind it a little bit more. It gets the club in a better position. And because it gets you in a better position, it fixes this next bit. So we can see you're halfway down. The shaft for me is a little steep. It's cutting through your right shoulder. If we look at Hunter again, you'll see as he unwinds through that same position, look at the difference there. It's coming out a lot lower, almost through the top part of his right forearm. And then from there, he can turn onto it and give it a crunch. Where with you at the moment, because the club's a little bit in front, you almost have to sort of swing slowly and steer it. We can see there, there's not much of your left leg showing. For me, your chest hasn't opened up either. So for me, once we've got the club in that deep position like Hunter's, the next part of your lesson was working on trying to hit the ground. Okay, so we set up in line with the golf ball and I wanted you to hit this second line here that I'm squiggling in. So anything in front of that, hit that. Then you start to get some really good strikes and good contact. And the next part of your lesson was to actually start to hit it harder. Hitting it harder is going to get you in this position here that Hunter's in. We can see that we need some clearance. We need that left leg rotating out of the way. I need the chest turning. So start to give yourself a bit of uh, freedom to give it a whack. That's going to get the club coming out a little bit lower. We can see yours comes out there. If we look at Hunter's again as he unwinds because he's turning more. We can see the shaft's coming out a lot lower than yours. Okay, so in a nutshell, get that backswing flatter, hit the ground, so hit the ball, then turf, and then from there, start giving it an absolute whack, and uh, you'll enjoy it a lot more, and get a driver if you can. Uh, borrow one off someone till you're confident, but at the moment, I gave you that driver on the day. Uh, you flushed it straight down the middle and just shows that your lines are, and your swing is very good. Cheers, Stuart.